All right, folks. Well, Alan Rubel coming back at you for Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. Oh, man, looking forward to today. Looking forward to today. Uh, it is October 25th. Um, took out of work just a little bit early. Have a vacation day tomorrow. Then we are following up with youth season. Uh, so, man, I, you know, from what I've been seeing on social media, uh, and personal experiences and uh, Ozark Mountain Outdoor Avenger team members. Um, definitely the, re uh, the rut is really starting to heat up. Very excited about this evening. Um, it's been, oh man, almost two weeks since we've been down here. Uh, and no, actually I think it was just seven days. Any, anyway, uh, last time we were here I found some good buck sign. Uh, kind of got a little bit of a layout of the area, did some scouting. Um, so I'm going back in where we, where the where I had the wind in my favor over this uh, um, rub and uh, scraped line we found. So anyway, man, we're in uh, Pulaski County, Missouri, Mark Twain National Forest. There's a four point uh, restriction uh, in this county, so uh, that's something new uh, that I'm experiencing this year. Uh, and so I, I, I'm excited about that though because that just means I mean there really is some monster bucks down here uh, and hopefully I can get a glimpse at one uh, and hopefully I can get it on film and try and kill it at the same time if I, if not I hope you don't hold it against me but I am trying to get a monster buck <laughs> anyway thanks again folks hopefully we'll have some action for you here in just a little bit stay tuned Stare down with the dough over there in the cedars. I'll make it to my spot here real quick. Stay tuned. Got three does down here on the other end of the field. If I'm real careful, I could sit here and maybe they'll come to me. I don't know. I'm pretty stuck at the moment. See what happens. See if I can grow one hand and see what happens. Right behind that. Those weeds right there in front of me. All right, you bow hunting fanatics. Well, that was just a crazy end to a wet and wild night. I uh, had a super fun. That's why I just love bow hunting. Uh, so I wasn't filling in my first spot uh, because of the rain, and I decided to, to make my way back out to the parking lot. Rocky had been having some success on, on having some doe action. Uh, but before I could even make it to that parking lot, I caught a glimpse of them entering the larger field. So basically, we had the entire field in between us. Uh, I watched them for a long time there at uh, about 115 yards. Uh, basically, it was <laughs> laying on the wet grass. Uh, got some footage of them. I think I uh, uh, watched them for a while at 100. And then three went uh, back into the wood line. And I was just afraid that the other three was following. So it was really time to make my move. I think I got within about. 85 yards of them and then <laughs> they blew and and went into the woods 
so I either re re reacquired one or is a completely new deer uh, at this furthest parking lot towards the, uh, uh, the field towards the parking lot. I ranged her at 55 yards. I thought I could get uh, a little bit closer to 40 by a pine tree. I guess she heard me snap a twig or something, but uh, she white-tailed back into the wood line. But anyway, we <laughs> had a fun evening this evening. We have some more hunts ahead. Uh, I got a vacation day tomorrow. We got youth season this weekend. So anyway, stay tuned till next time.